Now, people used to say that matches were made in heaven. Nowadays, they're more likely to be made by computer. And a firm has recently opened called Bona Soulmates, who've offered to do it electronically. And I decided to pay them a visit. Hello, anybody there? Oh, hello, I'm Julie, and this is my friend Sandy. Oh, hello. Yes, hello, Mr. Orn. We're your Bona Soulmates, we are. Yes, our motto is, for every Omi, there's a Palo. Hello. Yes. We guarantee to match you with the perfect partner. A sort of marriage bureau, are you? Well, what we actually do is, to find you the perfect partner, is we fill in your particulars. Yes, we fill them in, you see. First, we've got to get the essential data. Would you mind answering a few questions, Mr. Orn? <laughs> I don't mind. Well, these questions, you see, they're worked out by a psychiatrist to determine your personality. Yes, oh. now, first of all, what sort of car do you drive, Mr. Orn? Oh, what's that got to do with it? Oh, a car is your sort of virility symbol. <laughs> yeah, it sort of indicates the sort of person you are. Yes, for instance, Sean Connery, he drives a great big powerful sports car. <laughs> very butch, very potent. Oh, what do you drive? A mini. <laughs> I think that tells us all we need to know, Mr. Orn. All Ron. we need to know. I got the 73 up to the Angel today and called on Joe Orton, playwright, and his friend. He was frugal, to say the least. Would you care for a ham sandwich, Mr. Williams? Thank you. Ken made them especially. I make all the food around here. While I write plays. Who does your day call? Ken does. They're collages. Art. Oh. Two artists living under the same small roof. Must cramp his style. We like it this way. Ever so cosy. Has been for years. This ham is rather good, don't you think? Isn't it? I do love your new play, Joe. Funeral games. Loot. Sorry? I've changed the title. I think up all the Joe's titles. That's very good, Joe. Outrageous, man. I'm flattered. He is, often nowadays, by all sorts. Who's your favourite, Mr. Williams? I prefer Miss July. I would like very much to have been born handsome, not for its own sake, but for the sake of being attractive to others. I've no doubt that this is one superficial excuse for more profound complaints within. So much is because I think my face and body unprepossessing. This is, of course, the paradox of my own nature. The thing that I am being the thing which I despise. But I think my despite is justified. <laughs> Same joke, if it make it yourself, Charlie. This Roman tunic I'm wearing in the film feels me is really quite sexual. Don't you think, Joan? That are you, Kenny? Mm. Hail Caesar. Oh, Kenny, not again. Put it away. Yes. 
freak. I didn't see a cock the whole time I was in Leicester. Really? No, except my own, and that glimpsed only briefly in a cracked mirror. Oh, well, I've made Abby in my mirror. Masturbation? The Barclays, yes. Barclays? Barclays Bank. Wang. Can't be rhyme. Oh, I see. A mental cock, I leave it alone. Nothing can touch my fantasies. Positively lewd at times, my mind's eye. We're going to Morocco for it. Bum. Well, Tangier is certainly the place for relaxation during a mild winter. You should come. I don't think your Kenneth would approve, mm, do you? More the merrier, I say. Yes, but does he? I'm over 21, you know. Only in a bad light. Today you could play a boy of sweet 16. Hmm, good. Hmm. Oh, you want looking up, you do. I already have been, Kenny. How shocking. She would be with her pants down and her tie wrapped around her ankle. I can't say I approve. Not many people do. That's what made the prospect of having him all the more entertaining. No, it's irreligious and immoral. Like my play, hey? Yes. Certainly audiences will be mortally offended should I appear. You're going to do it then? Luke went down as feared it would. Shocked the audience to buggery. Joe's not here, he's gone out. No, yeah. hiding from me, is he? When... When do you expect him back? It depends on what he finds. Mark me. I'm doing haddock. Oh, for tea, lovely. There isn't enough for three. Rubbish. After what I've been through in that play of his, I deserve fresh salmon. There's something different about you today, Henny. Oh, Joe bought it for me. He said it suited me. More virile. Mm, very distinguished. Do you like it? It doesn't matter what I think. Uh, Hollandaise sauce? Oh, just a smidgen. The stomach's playing up. I could blow off like the wind. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that with me. Yeah, sure. Mm. Joe's having trouble with his dick. Once a good doctor. And aunt's in the right place. She miss Dick, isn't? Mm. Well, I'm sure he would never leave you. Joe told me. You've been through too much together, he said. I'm very magnanimous of him. I'd be grateful for that. Grateful? Some kind of love. He has an inability to love. A horror of involvement. He needs to be utterly free to write, he says. But you can't live without love. Love is involvement. When I'm not indulged, loved by an audience, I always feel the need to run. Where do you run to? Oh, I've no idea. To a friend's habitat, I suppose. Share a bit of haddock, eh? Bit of haddock, eh? Quite. Quite. 